Welcome to my life on coasters where today I'm here in Clacton on Sea to check out the pier and have a look around some of the other attractions. Now Clacton Pier is quite special for me because it's sort of the one place that uh, made me a theme park enthusiast. It's where I went on sort of my first ride so yeah and I haven't actually been here in quite a while. It's been about a year I think since I was last here in Clacton. Uh, but yeah, here today to get on the pier. Yeah, the uh, rides are testing on the pier. They open at 12 o'clock. It's about 11.40 now, so uh, a bit of time to wait before um, I can go on the rides. But yeah, I'll take you for a walk around uh, and show you what's open. Since last time I was here, Pavilion Pump Park have opened the Shark Coaster, which is a uh, brand new coaster they've got there as well. I do believe it's shut today, which is uh, not great, but yeah, I wasn't really expecting it to be open, so... Uh, yeah, I'll probably take a look at that when we leave Clapton Pier. Uh, yeah, there you go, there's the big wheel. If you get the big day outbound, which is 22.50 booked, uh, you get the big wheel included or it's four pounds uh, just to ride without any wristband or anything. So yeah, it's worth mentioning, since last time I was here at the pier, there's been a lot of updates that have been made. First one being these uh, automatic doors, which is quite nice. Uh, but yeah, there's all sorts, like they've refurbished the bar, uh, yeah, and there's uh, a new attraction as well, the uh, Jurassic Pier, I'm really excited for that because it's a dark ride. Uh, yeah, you've also got golf, you get that included in the Big Day Out band as well. Massive arcade in here, best arcade I've ever been to, it spans all the way through there, hundreds of arcade machines. Yeah, and then through here is where the rides are. So I'm on the sort of main ride area now. You can see you've got the go-karts here. They are a paid extra on top of the 1499 wristband. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably gonna pay and do the go-karts because I really do enjoy them. Walk up here, this is where the entrance to the log flume is. Uh, I don't expect it'll be open today uh, because obviously it is winter. Uh, I'm expecting a very limited ride offering, but fair enough, because it's a uh, very limited price. Here we go, yeah, it's uh, winter maintenance, but you wouldn't want to ride it in uh, February anyway, would you really? Uh, I mean, I would, but yeah, there you go, that's looking quite good. i tell you one thing about Clapton Pier, it's really gone up the last few years, they've put so much money into uh, doing it up, and it's always looked so fresh down here now at Clapton Pier. It's all, everything's kept on top of uh, in the summer especially. Obviously you've got construction stuff going on, but uh, apart from that, it's nicely presented. Got the wild mouse coaster, not as in like a uh, proper wild mouse, it's a caterpillar, but that's what it's called. Tornado fries, uh, churros as well, they're all new. Epic new building here. The Miami, which is a personal favourite of mine. Don't know if I'll be getting on that today though, because it requires a certain amount of riders to run. Got the Dumbos and Racerama here. It's quite windy today, which is concerning. Hope that the rides will still run. Got Helter Skelter over here. Yeah, Clacton Pier is quite a long pier to walk down as well. Uh, the rides aren't like very far down at all, but it's sort of narrow, as then you can go a lot further down. Look how choppy the sea is today. You wouldn't want to be uh, taking like a ferry in that, would you? Yeah, look at that awesome building there. That looks really nice now. So yeah, so exactly really what I expected to be open. Most stuff is, uh, as well, like I said though, the white Miami probably won't operate. Uh, simply because of it needs a certain amount of people to run. So yeah, that is my wristband all picked up. They're nice and easy, just gave my name. Uh, yeah, because I pre-booked online and picked up my wristband. So that was really simple, didn't need to show an email or anything. Uh, which is just what you want. Uh, £15 for my wristband, as I mentioned earlier. I'm going to take a look at the front of uh, Jurassic Pier now. Which is here, I mean, look at the uh, entrance of this. It looks awesome. I think I'm going to start with uh, Jurassic Pier then. Yeah, so I've sort of realised my first mistake with today then is that I just went to go and do Jurassic Pier 
it's not actually included with the wristband now i was a bit hesitant last night but i checked uh, and on the wristband all it says that the go-karts and wheel are excluded uh, but it didn't say anything about jurassic pier and it's five pounds so uh yeah uh, that's not great i think i am going to do it because it's like the new attraction so i'm going to actually do some rides that i've paid for first uh so yeah i'm not sure what i'm gonna go on i mean the looping star uh, i've heard it test which is good um the waltzer i think i might start on the waltzer actually uh yeah right i'll have a walk around and see what i want to do i'm actually quite hungry so i might go get some chips or something at the front of the pier so i've just had a few chips um from the chip shop at the front of the pier they were some of the nicest uh, chips i've had they were really nice actually i uh, can't remember how much they were because uh, i didn't pay for them but uh yeah they were uh, very nice uh, and i'm now going to head on to my first ride i'm basically just going to go on whatever's open because uh, it is running on ride rotations here today so if it's open i'm going to go on it all right i'm going to head on to the waltzers now nice uh, paint as well. It's quite slow but spinning quite a bit. So I've just had my ride on the uh, Thunderdome waltzes here at Clapton Pier, they were awesome. Uh, as much as there's no one spinning them, uh, they really uh, got spinning really well. Uh, but yeah, also uh, it's really uh, nice looking waltzes, it's all been refurbished uh, a few months ago really, so uh, yeah, really enjoyed that one. I did actually see the Looping Star run uh, with only a few people on it, so maybe they haven't got the uh, 12 people to run it roll here today. I hope they haven't because it means I can get on it. Uh, yeah, as well as that, the Miami, that's been running. Uh, yeah, I'd say there's about four or five different sort of thrill rides for me to go on, but obviously I'll do some re-rides, uh, try and get a good few rides in on the looping star, because I've only actually ever done it twice, I think, since uh, it opened, and considering I saw it be built, uh, yeah, that's quite shocking from me. Right, next I'm going to go and try uh, and get on the looping star roller coaster if it's open, uh, if there's a ride operator there. Uh, Oh, there's no one there for a second. I'll wait a minute before I go on the looping star until uh, there's a ride operator that I'll go on something else. Right, so I think they're about to send the um, Miami and I'm going to run over there because I really want to get on it. Uh, as long as I'm not too late, which I might be. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to join the queue. Uh, yeah, to get on the Miami. So I was going to go on the my, my, uh, Miami there, uh, but anyway, he said I'd be on the next one. And then there's people waiting for the little coaster next to it. 
Uh, and I thought I don't want to be waiting ages because it's on ride rotation. So I thought I'll give that a go in a bit. The uh, pier is open till four o'clock today, so it's uh, currently 12:33. So I've got three and a half hours here today. Uh, if you're wondering about parking, we parked just along the seafront, totally free, less than a five minute walk. So you can't really complain about that. Uh, brilliant parking, not like Brighton last weekend. That was expensive. Uh, yeah, I do quite like this uh, sort of end of the pier. It's quite long. I think it's a bit shorter than Brighton Pier. I'll have to have a look on Wikipedia later. Actually, you can see our car. It's just over by that greenhouse where I was pointing to there. What's this? Jelly Ball Blast. Is this another attraction? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. There's, like, so much investment that's gone into this pier. Uh, like, I remember coming a few years ago, or quite a long time ago, uh, the arcade thing was all, like, uh, quite run down. Uh, anyway, it was totally refurbished, and they keep doing refurbishments. It just looks so fresh. Uh, I really do think Clapton Pier is a great day out. Especially if it's less than, like, two hours for you, I'd definitely recommend a visit. The old lifeboat house. Actually, I don't even know if it's still in operation. It might be. Got the Jolly Roger as well, which is like a theatre. Then a long way down that coast is Walton. Actually, I say a long way. It's only about ten miles if you're driving, uh, and I think it sort of curves around, which is why you can't see Walton's pier. Yeah, the other thing about this pier that you might notice is I don't know if it's because the tide's at a different level. It's uh, not as high off the uh, sea level as uh, Brighton is. You also got the fishing pier. Uh, you can get an annual pass for that. I was reading that's £75 to have access to that little pier all year round. And if we walk down here, this all must look out to the um, Netherlands, I imagine. See land a long old way down there. I imagine that's South End. Uh, you probably can't see it on camera all the way over there. And you can't see it obviously, but about 70 miles that way is Depana, where Plop's Land is. And then I imagine like Holland's over there. You can see a boat out there at the minute actually, which is quite cool. Yeah, I'm just going to wait for the looping star now. I don't know how long it'll be until a ride operator comes over, but yeah, I'll let you know after I uh, come off the looping star. Right, so I've just done my ride on the looping star roller coaster. Then it took about 15 minutes to get on in the end. Uh, they do need six people to run it, uh, but it's just half a train, which I don't think is too bad. Uh, anyway, I got on there. Obviously, I had to sit next to someone else, which I don't mind on some rides, but on rides like that where you're really crammed in, it's not ideal. And I went on it, and I never moved around so much in a ride. Uh, everything is bruised now. Uh, yeah, that wasn't wasn't very pleasant. Uh, I might go on there later, but ideally, uh, I don't want to be sitting next to someone again because it's just quite awkward. Uh, yeah, and also, I don't want to wait around for ages. So I'm going to try and get onto the Miami. Uh, or whatever they are running next. Oh, it looks like they're sending this uh, poster, so I'll go on this. Right, we're going for a second lap, it looks like. 
It's really weird. It's like the slowest coaster. Then you go onto that drop, and it's, it doesn't really feel like it trims at all. We're going down the uh, drop. Yeah, it doesn't trim really. Is that it or are we getting a third? Oh, we're getting a third lap. See, so, yeah, I've just had a ride on the uh, wild mouse caterpillar over there. I'm just going to keep calling it the wild mouse caterpillar so you don't get confused. Uh, yeah, the ride rotations thing, I understand why they're doing it, but it can get quite annoying. Uh, because it's sort of like uh, if someone's operating a ride and someone else wants to go on the next one, if that makes sense, uh, they'll send it before doing the next one. So it means if I wanted to go on the uh, Miami, uh, and there's always people wanting to ride the uh, Wild Man coaster or Caterpillar, uh, there's no one to operate the Miami, so you could be waiting there like 20, 30 minutes. Uh, it must get to a point, I reckon, where they have to uh, leave people in the queue for one ride and go and operate the other. But, yeah, I'm just not too sure on that one. Uh, I mean, I understand that it's probably the only way they can stay open, because obviously with uh, operational costs. But, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a shame, that one. Uh, as for the go-kart, uh, they've always been uh, busy. Uh, so, obviously, there's always an operator there, and they earn the nice money. So, I imagine they're going to keep that one staff. Uh, there was some more people waiting for the Lupin Star, so I might go and see if I can get on that again. So I've just come off the Lupin Star, and I'm going to go straight onto the Waltzer now. Because, uh, yeah, the ride operator's over here at the minute. Uh, yeah, I had a second ride on the Lupin Star there. Had a front row, uh, sat next to someone. It was uncomfortable as ever. So I've just actually had a ride on the Looping Star and the Waltzer. Uh, yeah, the Waltzer was quite good. The Looping Star, it was really, really rough. Uh, as I said, I did have a front row ride on there, uh, and I was riding with someone else. You are sort of trying to uh, not move about too much, uh, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to ride that again. Uh, if I can ride on my own, uh, and I'm not going to have to wait for ages, then I will, but uh, otherwise not. The waltzer was all right. I mean, there's no one spinning it, uh, but yeah, for what it is, uh, when there is no one spinning it, I did quite enjoy that one. Uh, right, I'm going to walk into the indoor bit now, and I think I'm going to try and do the dodgems. Right, so I'm indoors now and I'm going to go off and do the dodgems. I really, my favourite part of Clacton here is the indoor part uh, with the golf, the dodgems and the arcade. I used to really be into arcades and I used to spend hours upon hours in here on a Saturday. Uh, yeah, right, here is the dodgems, some of the best dodgems I've ever done, so I uh, can't wait to get back on them. One of the things I really like about this Dodgems is there's no rules and you don't get told off for it, which is quite good. Go for number 10, I think. So I've just had one ride on the Dodgems and I'm going to go again because there's an operator who's just permanently on this one, I think. Right, so I've just come off two rides on the bumper cars there. They were really good. They're my favourite go-karts. Go-karts, bumper cars that I've ever done. I really like them. They've got a lot of power in them. Uh, they've got enough, actually, reverse power so you can sort of bump into people backwards, which is quite fun. Uh, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, the other thing, brilliant thing about those uh, Dodgers is there was someone on there. I have no idea for what reason, but people just kept bumping into them. And it's sort of, by the second ride, because uh, a lot of people were re-riding, uh, it was literally, it was just a, a target to get that one bumper car. So it was quite fun. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to walk and go on the Miami now. Uh, not done this one yet. It's one of the only major rides I've not done today. 
uh, yeah, then I think in a bit I'm going to get on the uh, Jurassic Pier. I might do the go kart as well, although that is a £10 upcharge to do both those things, but still. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go on the Miami. Uh, I've queued like uh, 30 40 minutes for this in the uh, summer holidays before. Uh, so, yeah, uh, walk on isn't too bad for this ride. Right, so I've just had two back-to-back -back rides on the Miami there, and as I said, I did actually used to wait uh, 30, 45 minutes uh, in the uh, summer holidays for that. Uh, yeah, and I just walked straight on there, obviously, because it is February. Uh, had two rides on there, really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, very comfortable Miami, one of the best for comfort. Uh, the waltz looks like it's sending again, uh, so I think I'm going to give that a go. I've done most of the major stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm going to keep doing a few re-rides and stuff. So I've just had another ride there on the wall, so I'm really just re-riding a lot of stuff now. Uh, yeah, it was quite good on there. Uh, I do wish I could have some people spinning, but I think in the summer, uh, when it's even and have massive queues, uh, there'll be people spinning it, it'll be running brilliant, that one. Uh, right, next then, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. I've done sort of all the major rides. I think I'm going to go and try and get on the uh, Racerama, which is like... Um, just like a little whip sort of thing themed to cars uh, but anyway seeing as uh, I've done most of the other stuff I might as well give that one a go yeah this is Racerama I think I'm just gonna have a quick ride on here because why wouldn't I well I was gonna go on the Racerama but I sort of like there's a lot of kids in that waiting for it uh, and I obviously I think it's on ride rotation so I don't want to sort of uh, hold up the Miami from uh, sending or some whatever ride they're operating uh, yeah, I'm not too sure why the Helter Skelter's not open. I mean, I don't know if it complies with health and safety. Could they just sort of leave it open where you just take a mat, go up there and come down on your own? I don't see why not, but then I'm not sure what our uh, laws are here in the UK. Uh, and also, I suppose you've got to sort out payment for it and stuff. Uh, so that's probably why you can't. Uh, yeah, you've just got a couple of little, uh, like, uh, that's a holiday home sales thing. This is a lifeboat uh, shop. There you've got a couple of uh, coin operated stuff in the uh, summer. I think down there to be seen is uh, uh, Holland on Sea, I believe it is. Uh, I guess that's because it looks over to Holland. Uh, not too sure on that one. A lot of paragliders out as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the uh, little Dumbo's ride is one I've never actually done uh, down there. That was loading up, but yeah, I feel a bit old for that one. Uh, yeah, they are, it's quite a small one, it's not like a full-size Dumbo's. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do next is finally do uh, Jurassic Pier, because I've been uh, waiting to do that one. I sort of thought I might as well do these rides first in case they're shut or something, because I've already paid for those. Uh, then head on to uh, Jurassic Pier, which is the uh, new sort of dark ride attraction. I've actually just paid for Jurassic Pier. It cost me five pounds and I've got to go back at 10 to three. Uh, so yeah, I don't think that's too bad. I didn't know it was actually on timed showings. Uh, so I actually have got to go back in about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to uh, go on the Dodgems a few times. Uh, and then yeah, I'm going to make my way to Jurassic Pier and I'm going to take you for the uh, experience. I'm in Jurassic Pier now. Uh, yeah, so I've literally just had my uh, photo scanned, uh, or photo taken, sorry, uh, after I waited to get into the attraction. Yeah, it was nice and uh, simple. So yeah, then after I had my photo taken, I was uh, moved into this room while I wait for everyone else to have their photo taken. Then I assume I'll go through these doors. Awesome, though. Really I'll see you when we go through the doors. I'm Professor Ernest Kingsman, Director of the Paleontology Research Program here at the Jurassic Pier Discovery Center. I do hope you enjoy the story about Jurassic Park for these more traditional dinosaur exhibitions. This is how our research has been displayed for the last 150 years, back when the study of dinosaur fossils first began. Today, 
the introduction to a brand new way of learning more about his previous version. Using a perfect blend of science and technology, we have been able to successfully reuse his dinosaurs to an authentic recreation of what our world looked like over 200 million years ago. It will soon be a marvelous spectacle that no human being has ever experienced walking with the outside. We will the most spectacular creatures to ever walk the earth on a breathtaking journey through our prehistoric world. Dinosaurs aren't without their dangers, so stay alert and follow the instructions of our friendly dino rangers who will be on hand to guide you through your journey. Oh, and please refrain from black photography. It tends to be Now, let us embark on this magical journey to time. We come face to face with some of Earth's fiercest places. Welcome to Jurassic Pier. Wow. Right, so we've moved into the next room then. Some model dinosaurs. Oh, look at this baby dinosaur. See, I don't think R and dinosaur go together. Wow, some of the uh, theming in here. There you go, mind your head on this. Danger, high voltage. Oh wow, look at this Velociraptor. Velociraptor, not Velocicoaster. Uh, you're not a uh, 200 foot Intamin coaster. Well, 169 foot, I think it is, precisely. God, they can run up to 40 miles an hour, that's quite a lot. All the uh, planting's really cool around here. Yeah, then we just have to wait behind this line. Uh, then I guess we go into the 4D experience. Yeah, I really like the uh, building. It's like really realistic, quite spectacular. Size of this one though. The attention to detail is brilliant in here. Yeah, and I guess we walk through now to uh, the 4D cinema. Yeah, so I'm in the 4D cinema now. As you can see, I've got my uh, hideous looking glasses on here. Yeah, just waiting to go into the uh, cinema in this sort of uh, marked spot. Right, so uh, sitting at the back now. Uh, in the cinema room, obviously, I can't film the uh, thing, but uh, I'll see you once it's finished. Awesome room, though. So yeah, I've just uh, come out of the 4D cinema in Jurassic Pier and I'm going to talk all about my experience on it now. Uh, yeah, so I uh, turned up about 20 minutes before a, a screening, bought my ticket, uh, then I knew I had to come back at um, 10 to 3. Anyway, I turned up then, had to wait about 5 minutes. Uh, anyway, I got into that pre-show room as you saw. Uh, it was all nicely themed in there. I've got to say the front of it's lovely and themed. Uh, watch a short, uh, about 30 second pre-show um, before, yeah, uh, we made our way into this sort of, this is what I call the main walkthrough, you've got all the dinosaurs, uh, really quite impressive in there, uh, yeah, and then we sort of waited behind this line, uh, we actually had to wait uh, for some more people to come through from the three o'clock screening, I believe, so yeah, that was a bit odd how that was set up. 
so yeah once we waited sort of at that line uh, we were then sort of let through onto these docks and this is where you'd be sitting in the uh, cinema uh, so yeah we waited there for less than a minute then we uh, uh, made our way into the cinema actually thinking about it, it probably was a bit more than a minute uh, but yeah made our way into the cinema uh, we sat down then the film started uh, the film was all right i think the film was like the one let down part of it but then it's claps and periods a smaller part uh, so uh, you can't really expect too much from it uh, so yeah uh, watched the film and then after that we just made our way down a uh, unseen tunnel so yeah for what that attraction is i found it really uh, highly themed for uh, what is just like a, it's a pier it's an amusement park if that's a fully themed attraction uh, it wouldn't look out of place in somewhere like a theme park, like a sign. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed Jurassic Pier. Uh, if you're wondering why there was that weird little cut, I literally just rode Miami twice in between that because um, it was uh, loading up. So I thought, why not? I might as well jump on. Uh, last 20 minutes of the day now. Uh, I'm going to try and get on the Looping Star uh, because yeah, I've only had I think two rides on there. I'd like another one. Uh, I did see there was some people waiting there, but I don't know if there's six people waiting there. Uh, so yeah, right, I'm going to walk around to the Looping Star, see if I can get on that. Right, so as you've seen that, I'm going on the Looping Star. I think it's going to be last ride of the day. There is about 15 minutes left till ride close uh, and I'm going to queue up for the looping star. So after two rides on the looping star, I'll talk about them uh, after I've been on the waltzer, yeah, for the last ride of the day. See, I've just had a ride on the waltzer there. Uh, yeah, that was just after two rides on the looping star. Yeah, it was uh, both times were in the front car, uh, sat next to someone. I've not had one on my own. Uh, yeah, I'm going to head up uh, these steps because I want to have a look at the Pavilion Fun Park because uh, they've had a new ride since I was last here. It's shut, but I just want to have a look at it. <sighs> yeah, can I actually walk through? So yeah, just going to talk about my two rides in the Looping Star there and, well, how the Looping Star's been riding overall today. Uh, yeah, majority of the time I've been right at the front. Uh, yeah. Oh, I say right at the front. I mean, uh, in the front car. There's only three cars, so that's not that hard. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, second row from the front most of the time, and it's just it's quite rough. I don't know if it is that row uh, specifically because I've done it in one other row, and it's rough there as well. It is just a really rough ride. Uh, it's a Pinfari Looper. They're all rough. Uh, I've done Turbo. Oh, actually, I've only done Turbo, so I can't say they're all rough. There's some of them might be quite smooth. Uh, to be fair, though, the layout was quite a nice idea. Uh, but yeah, you just rattle around so much. But I have done it four or five times, so I think five times. Uh, and it's it's all right for what it is. Uh, anyway, that's uh, all to be said about the Looping Star. Um, I d am a bit sort of biased with it because um, I sort of, when I started coming to Clapton Pier, it, it, the track had just been finished and they were doing all sorts of work on it to uh, sort of get it ready to open. So I remember coming to Clapton Pier and being like, all oh, the lights are testing. Uh, uh, yeah, it was just, I've, I've seen it be built, basically, before I ramble on. Uh, so, yeah, right, let's get up to the Pavilion Fun Park now, because uh, the pier is shut, or the ride is shut. I believe the pier stays open. Uh, uh, yeah, then, when I get up here, I'm going to uh, have a look at the outside side of uh, Pavilion Fun Park. Actually, I need to go up these steps. Yeah, um, I did try and walk up the other way, uh, like over the bridge, if that makes any sense, or under the bridge to try and uh, walk along the pavement, but it was quite busy up there. And also there was some kids throwing stones and stuff off the bridge, so I thought maybe best to avoid that. Uh, yeah, this is the new ride that um, I wanted to see then. It's the Shark Coaster. Uh, it's just like a little... Uh, well, it's a little uh, caterpillar coaster layout, but it's got the train of a shark on there, so that's quite cool. Uh, yeah, it's not open today, but I'll walk as far as I can, which is not very far, uh, to have a look at it. I only noticed this when I was looking on RCDB. Uh, so yeah, I've got to pick up that coaster credit at some point. 
Uh, the other thing is they used to have a mine train coaster. I think they've removed it and replaced it with that. Uh, because basically, I saw on RCDB, which is the roller coaster database, that um, Web Adventure Park in North Yorkshire are getting a mine train coaster, and I believe it's the same layout as that one. I believe it might actually be that one. Uh, I don't know, I can't get in and have a look at the minute. I mean, I'm not too bothered because I've already got that credit, but it's sort of like I want to try and find out. So if I go to Web Adventure Park uh, and I go on that coaster, I don't count it as a credit if I've already been on it. If that's not confusing. <laughs> so yeah, right, that is where I'm going to start to wrap up this uh, vlog. So yeah, I'd say my visit to Clapton Pier today has been quite a good one. I've definitely, uh, uh, say, probably one of my best ever visits to Clapton Pier. I mean, I paid £15 for my wristband, obviously. The upcharge for Jurassic Pier as well. Um, but I mean, yeah, I think it was worth the £5 upcharge, really. Uh, yeah, as well as that, it's quite a lot to go on in the winter. You've got the Miami, uh, the Looping Star... Uh, actually, this was not loads to go on. Uh, yeah, the main two things I say, the Miami and the Looping Star on the pier. You've also got the Dodgems and stuff inside that are quite good. Uh, so yeah, some really good rides on the pier. I'd definitely say it is worth coming down in the uh, winter, uh, especially if you've not been to the pier before, because you can get two credits. Uh, there's a couple of other flat rides as well. Uh, although, if you are into your counting your credits, maybe come in the summer so you can get the ones at Pavilion Pump Park. Uh, so yeah, right, that is where I'm going to finish this vlog from Clacton Pier. It's quite a nice little visit uh, just before the start of the season. But anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.